Supreme Court has directed the center to take proactive steps in drought mitigation as well as in assessment, planning and relief as mandated by the Disaster Management Act, 2005. What actually is the prerequisite to declare a state as drought hit? What else the court suggested? Has it been the judicial overreach? GS Paper 3, Disaster Management Why is it in news recently? That scarcity of water and its poor quality plague in many parts of India this year is widely acknowledged today. In the judgment, delivered on a writ petition filed by the non-governmental organization Swaraj Abhiyan, the Supreme Court concluded that Bihar and Haryana had been negligent in not officially declaring a drought despite clear indications of water scarcity. The court also said that steps taken by state governments for irrigation and food grain production, or the presence of perennial rivers, which the Bihar government has submitted as a factor, alone cannot determine whether there is a drought-like situation or not. What actually is the prerequisite to declare a state as drought hit? Drought vulnerability is a product of a region's risk of water shortage and the exposure of the communities to the problems arising thereafter. A region should be declared drought hit if it receives less than 50% of average rainfall between June and July. The zone area is less than 50% of the total cultivated area. The water stock in irrigation dams is less than minus 0.4 of the normal. Concept of drought varies from place to place depending upon normal climatic conditions, available water resources, agricultural practices and the various socio-economic attributes of a region. Arid and semi-arid areas are most vulnerable where drought is a recurring feature occurring with varying magnitudes. The extent and intensity of drought impact is determined by prevailing economic conditions, the structure of the agricultural sector, management of water resources, cereal reserves, internal and external conflicts etc. Keeping all these criteria in mind the drought will be declared. Classification of Drought The National Commission on Agriculture in India classified three types of drought, meteorological, agricultural and hydrological. Meteorological drought is defined as a situation when there is significant decrease from normal precipitation over an area, that is more than 10%. Hydrological drought results from prolonged meteorological drought resulting in depletion of surface and subsurface water resources. Agricultural drought is a situation when soil moisture and rainfall are inadequate to support healthy crop growth. Directions given by Supreme Court to Government Establish a National Disaster Response Force with Specialist Cadre in six months. Set up a Disaster Mitigation Fund within three months. Frame National Plan on Risk Assessment, Risk Management and Crisis Management in respect of a disaster. Update 60-year-old Drought Management Manual keeping in mind humanitarian factors like migrations, suicides, extreme distress the plight of women and children. It has directed the center to take proactive steps in drought mitigation as well as in assessment, planning and relief as mandated by the Disaster Management Act, 2005. It clarified that a drought definitely falls under the definition of disaster under Section 2D of the Disaster Management Act of 2005 and lashed out at the government for not even trying to enforce the statute. What Section 2D of the Disaster Management Act of 2005 says? Disaster means a catastrophe, mishap 
calamity or grave occurrence in any area, arising from natural or man-made causes, or by accident or negligence which results in substantial loss of life or human suffering or damage to, and destruction of, property, or damage to, or degradation of, environment, and is of such a nature or magnitude as to be beyond the coping capacity of the community of the affected area.